Okay, this is section 2.6, Proving Angle Relationships. We have a lot of different angles that we've talked about in chapter 1. I'm going to encourage you to pause the video and write these down. I'm going to talk through them faster than you can write, probably. Angle measure, or angle addition postulate. If R is in the interior of angle PQS, if and only if PQR plus RQS equals PQS. Angle addition postulate is basically what this says, but R has to be in the interior for that to be true. The supplement theorem. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary angles. If they form a linear pair, a straight line, straight lines are 180, so the two angles must be supplementary. Complement. If the non common sides of two adjacent angles form a right angle, then the angles are complementary. So the non-common sides of two adjacent angles. So I have two angles that are next to each other, but their non-common side would be this side and this side. That's the non-common side of the two angles. If those two non-common sides form a right angle, then the angles are complementary because these two angles are going to add up to 90. Congruent supplements theorem. Angles supplement to the same angle or congruent angles are congruent. This one definitely needs a picture. If two angles are supplement to the same angle, supplements mean they add up to 180. So if I said this is a 50 degree angle and this is a 130 degree angle, Two angles are supplement to the same angle. If I kept this line going, this is 130, so this has to be 50. Since both of these angles are supplementary to 130, that means they're congruent to each other, which we know because they're vertical angles. But you could also have it not be in the same picture, and that would still be a true statement. Congruent complements theorem. Two angles complement to the same angle are congruent. So let's do that same idea but in different picture. So two uh, angles are complemented to the same angle. If this is a 30 degree angle and this is a 60 degree angle. And I have another situation maybe right here. So I have a right angle here but if I make this a 30 degree angle because this is another right angle. These two angles are both complementary with the 60, which means these two angles would have to be congruent to each other. If two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. We know that when we have vertical angles, they are always going to be congruent to each other. Perpendicular lines intersect to form four right angles. And again, you might want to pause to write down the rest of these before I talk through them. Perpendicular lines intersect to form four right angles. We know if we have perpendicular, we're not just creating one right angle, but there's going to be a total of four right angles. All right angles are congruent because each right angle is 90. We know right angles are going to be congruent to each other. Perpendicular lines form congruent adjacent angles. Obviously, if I have perpendicular lines and I'm forming right angles, those right angles formed are congruent and they're adjacent. These two are both 90, they're next to each other, and they're congruent. Two angles are congruent and supplementary, then each angle is a right angle. Two angles are congruent and supplementary. So if they're congruent, they're the same, and they're supplementary, they add up to 180. That means each one of those angles must have been 90, so each angle is a right angle. If two angles, if two congruent angles form a linear pair, then they are right angles. So if two congruent angles form a linear pair, so they have to be congruent to each other, which means they're going to have to be both 90 in order to make the linear pair and that makes they're both right angles. All right, let's get into some practice with this. Proving angle relationships. Again, I told you, you guys were going to start with just getting statements and coming up with the reasons. So I would pause the video to write down these statements. 
and then we'll come back and see if we can do the reasons together. All right, let's come back and work on these reasons together. A, angle ABC and angle CBD form a right angle. It's because I'm given that up here in the very beginning. My first reason is almost always given to me. Angle ABC and angle CBD are complementary. Why is that? Well, we were told they form a right angle from our beginning statements. The complement theorem says if you have two adjacent angles that form a right angle, they are complementary. So if I have two angles that form a right angle, they are complementary. That's going to be our definition, or excuse me, that's going to be our complement theorem from the front side. Definition just says that they equal 90. The complement theorem is what we want to use. All right, this is our definition of complementary. If they're complementary, that means they add up to 90. That's the definition of complementary. I can take this statement, and because they also told me angle, the measure of angle ABC was 5X and the measure of angle CBD was 4X, I can make a substitution. Remember, you need to write out substitution. You can't just write sub. If I take 5X plus 4X and I combine them to be 9X, that's combining. You can just say combine like terms. A nice shortcut for that is just to write CLT. That stands for combine like terms without having to write the whole thing out. And then why can we get rid of the 9? Because we're doing division, dividing both sides, so that's division property. And that's what I was trying to prove, that x was equal to 10. All right, again, I would like you to pause the video Write down these statements, write down these reasons, and see if you can fill in the missing parts, and then we'll come back and finish it together. All right, we are starting with what they gave us. Angle ABC and angle CBD form a linear pair. You can see that in the picture. One thing I have failed to mention as we go on, it's a nice idea if they give you specific information to put that in the picture. So angle ABC is 5x, Angle CBD is 4x. It's just kind of helpful to see the information in the picture. Why can we say they form a linear pair? That was information that was given to us. If they form a linear pair, they are supplementary. That's from the front side, the supplement theorem. I do THM to shortcut theorem because it's kind of a long word. The measure of ABC plus the measure of CBD equals 180. If I'm told I have supplementary, that means they equal 180 by the definition of supplementary. Again, remember we're going to practice these the rest of this week and most of next week. So if you're struggling, just hang in there and see if you can begin to get the flow. But we're not expecting you to do all this on your own. We're going to have a lot of practice. All right, my next reason is substitution. So what kind of substitution could I make here? What could I replace in this statement to come up with a new statement that I use substitution in order to get? Well, back here, ABC, the measure of ABC was equal to 5X, so I can replace this with 5X. The measure of CBD was 4X, so I can replace this with 4X. And if I'm adding those together, it has to equal 180. Hopefully you see that this is very similar to the last one. That's on purpose so that you can begin to get the flow and see how it happens over and over again. All right, combine like terms. What like terms am I combining? The 5x plus the 4x means my new statement is going to be 9x equals 180. And then by division property, my last statement, remember, is always what I'm trying to prove. Once I get to that, I know I'm done. And division property, if I'm dividing both sides by 9, that's what allows me to say x equals 20. All right, for this part, what I would like you to try, um, for 2.6, we are doing a little bit of review here. Try number 3, try number 7, 
And then the only proof I want you to try is this one on the back, number 11. And again, there's some statements missing, there's some reasons missing. Look at the statement, see if you can come up with the reason. Look at the reason, see if you can go back and find the statement. And these are just reviewing some things that we talked about in chapter one as far as finding the value of x, because that's gonna be a big part of geometry all semester is being able to solve for some angles or at least the variable that's in that angle.